There's cat hair in my coffee. Perry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. Today, it is our last day here on our stop in Australia. Oh. I know. But before we move on to our next little stop in our tour around the world of nostalgic content, I would like to cover one final Australian thing for now. We'll obviously, you know, return. There's a lot of fun things to talk about that came from down under. Yes, I am going to keep doing that. I hope it doesn't upset anybody. <laughs> Today we're covering Amazing. Amazing. It's a it's a kids Australian game show from this is from 1994 this episode. It's here on YouTube, so This program was brought to you by McDonald's. Oh, well McDonald's sponsored it, so it has to be good. I'm just going to get into it. This is the show that has excitement. A gigantic keyboard. Oh my god, that set? Some of that set design looks horrifying. It's dangerous enough just getting from the maze to here from me. I don't know how they get in there. So well, let's meet the green team. Hi, my name's Rebecca Whip and I like collecting stamps, skating and swimming. All right, so we're meeting all the kids from the green team. My name's Ben Townsend. I go to Brettdale Skate School and I like swimming and playing cricket. Oh, well, there's two of them. Well, you could be in slips. <laughs> and, cause, okay. I thought it would be a bigger team. There's, there's two. Ben, you'd like to change with someone who is a mega millionaire by the world. Mm. Okay, fair enough. This kid wants to buy the world. <laughs> We're either looking at a philanthropist in the making or a supervillain in the making. <laughs> Bless this kid. Uh, because you'd also like to be Dieter Brummer's girlfriend. <laughs> you know? So does that mean you want to be Angel on Home and Away? No. You want to be his girlfriend in real life? <laughs> All right. Oh, we have a Home and Away reference, something that I haven't watched yet. I really do need to watch Home and Away. The next time I cover something Australian, I'll have to cover Home and Away. You'll be playing the yellow team. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Chris Comero. I like baseball, stamp collecting, and aircraft. All right, so now we've got the yellow team. This is very, um, do you guys remember the Disney Channel games? This is reminding me of that simply just because the teams were colors. Like, if, if instead of these kids, the Jonas Brothers were here, this might be just the Disney Channel games. That says that here, a relay in with gold medal at the state finals. I should have known that. This reminds me of like Nickelodeon had a bunch of shows like this. Our Lady of Fatima at this stage <laughs> having to do a bit of work to catch up. Merkdal in the lead. Like this is very double dare, you know what I mean? I am long and thin. I am often found on a desk. Pencil. I contain, pencil. yes, pencil it is, down to the keyboard. I shouldn't be proud of myself when I get the question for children. Type it out, Chris, up the stairs. Okay, so they have to answer the question, and then once they know what the answer is, they have to spell it out on the giant keyboard on the floor. 67, 64, nothing in it. Stick with us after the break. More happy. Oh my God, we have commercials. Ronald McDonald conducts the Beethoven Symphony. It's Ronald McDonald. <laughs> 90s really was like the heyday for Ronald McDonald. Terrifying as he and his strange little friends may be. It is very sweet. I've heard from some of you who have talked about uh, you guys were actually uh, official Ronald McDonald performers um, or you had family members who were um, and you guys just have a lot of sweet stories. So I actually I actually respect it a lot. Always Coca-Cola. I still haven't forgiven the Coke factory for trying to gaslight me into thinking that they never put cocaine in the Coca-Cola. They lit, like, you can look it up. They literally did. They try to tell you at the museum, they're like, nah, that never happened. You're acting crazy right now. Beautiful. Kit Kats. I don't think Kit Kats ever came in boxes like that here in the United States. That might just be an Australian thing. Or... I'm just not remembering. <laughs> I also wasn't alive in 1994, so it's possible that it was a 1994 thing. Okay, you've got 67 seconds to find those six letters. Chris, you have three seconds less. All right, so now they have to race through a maze to find the letters of their word, and they have to do it in the time left on their clock. Ben looking for tennis. This is what it feels like playing a Nancy Drew game and knowing that you, you're missing an item and not knowing where the item is. As we come down to the 30 second mark. Do they have any letters? Because if we get to the end of this and they don't have any. Oh my god, that's a creepy little penguin. Holy shit, that penguin is going to be in my nightmares. As Ben plays with the penguins. It's like the sleep paralysis demon that stands in the corner of your room. This is the major prize. This is it. You could win for your school this word processing typewriter and a personal word processor. Not the word processing typewriter. Oh my god. I actually would, would use one of those for the novelty of it. <laughs> 
And don't the crowd love it? Ben, how many letters did you find? This kid looks so scared. Look at him. He looks like he's staring death in the face, poor guy. This is a what am I? It's a thing with five letters. I nearly told you the answer then. <laughs> he almost told them the answer. That would have made it a shorter game. I remember one time as a kid, I was watching The Price is Right and the model accidentally uncovered the correct answer before it was time. Like the person had a second guess. So like the guess wrong and she was like, oh, and she took off the thing and showed them what the real thing was. And then they had another guess. And so she just was like, oh God, I will see myself out. <laughs> Rebecca getting excited trying to put down triple E and she... <laughs> Put in the Markiplier E meme. Why am I saying it like I have an editor? It's me. I, future me, put that meme in there. Everybody has me, and the first set is replaced. Teeth. Teeth. Yes! My are you smarter than a fifth grader competitive shriek is kicking back in. We both went for the H so quickly, and it's pronounced H, not H, okay? H. He really has a problem with people that pronounce it H, don't they? <laughs> Shane's million dollar idea hits pay dirt. You want to earn some extra bucks or not? When Home It Away continues tonight on 7. Yep, yep. The universe is telling me to cover Home It Away at some point. <laughs> Finally, a chocolate coated marshmallow bar you'll glow to love and dream about. A glow bar? We don't have those. Australia's been holding out on us. 1994 is the year of the coach. What? 1994. And I just thought of something. If your last name was Sockinit, Gemma Sockinit. No, it doesn't matter. Bro, what? I don't know what to make of this host. He's trying. He's really trying to make conversation. I look something like this, except they're different because this is a J and you're after different letters than a J, obviously, okay? Thank you. I forgot that there was more than just J. <laughs> J, 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 J. Your time starts now. Jen is into the maze. All right, we've got the scary maze again. Oh, God, they blink. No, they blink. By the way, good for these kids. I'd be so scared. Kid me would never do this. Like, nowadays, I think this looks super fun, but as a kid, I'd be terrified. All those people screaming at me, all those cameras on me. Now, your word was... Teeth. Teeth, and you've got an S and a Y, which we can't allow, but you do have two E's there. She tried it. She's like, maybe I can sneak some in there. 20 points being added to our lady. These kids all look terrified. What's happening? What am I watching right now? Vector will be playing the computer challenge first. Is that Mario playing in the background? I've got questions. 60 seconds on the clock. Ben, your time starts now. The whole idea of Tetris is to make solid lines. We're just playing Tetris. Guys, what do we do? We need another segment. I'll just let the kids play Tetris. <laughs> Made solid. That's good. See, it? slip that bar in underneath there like that. A tricky little move. Oh, look at that. He's not playing around. This kid is serious about Tetris. Oh, yep, just swing it on around. Not a good placement there. This house is like, you really screwed that one up there, didn't you, buddy? I'm not going to lie. I do love me some Tetris. Time started. You want to get more than 311 points. And you can see he's just slamming those pieces down, getting in there really quick. This kid understands how to fast forward that stuff down to the bottom. Bit disappointing, not to worry. We put 100 points on the green team score. Oh, it's neck and neck. But as a consolation prize for everybody, so thank you for playing. What's the consolation prize? All players receive a selection of new Australian books from Mark McLeod and Random House. All right, knock off goosebumps. Plus for school projects or homework, a pack of 10 washable colored markers from Beryl and an exclusive amazing t-shirt from Rebel Rag. Well, that's upon the computer picks the pieces at once. And washable markers and a t-shirt, okay. Gemma just saying it's a bit disappointing that they're not going on, but she tried her best. This kid looks so disappointed. Why do I have the feeling that the parents pushed all of these kids into this. I've never seen less enthusiastic kids on a game show. Super cheeky bird. He pooped on my bed. And a funny hat that I made. Aww. American TV. TV I remember. Milky Way, lovely man. Very thoughtful of you, Mrs. Freeman. I don't know why it's so funny to me when kids have Australian accents. Like, obviously, kids, there are, there are kids in Australia. But I think it's just like... <laughs> I don't expect them to have such heavy accents. It's adorable. It's adorable. Love songs just for you. Song. The perfect okay. collection with Elton John. Here's an advertisement for a CD that I'm going to have to cut around because uh, all the owners of this music is going to hunt me down. <laughs> if I let their music play, God forbid, in my, in my video. 
Kim and Kevin had come to see me after Kim had lost her job and they were scared of losing their house. I know that these ads are probably aired for the benefit of the adults watching with the kids, but it feels funny when you have like, hey kids, here's this cool new CD and this kid's show and hey, do you need financial advice? I look after Rebecca's glasses. She's a bit nervous about sort of losing them in the maze, stepping on them, squashing them or something. Oh, that's valid. I'm always afraid of squashing my glasses too. You could be winning for your school this word processing typewriter and a personal word processor. Oh my God, we do live in the future. Well, there's a bonus prize key in there, the numbered one to seven. This is where our bonus prize key is hidden today. That's where it is. These guys don't know about it. But if you find that key, you'll be taking away a prize. One each, for each one each is what I'm trying to say. Gary, this, what is the prize? Tell us. The compact portable video game system you can play anywhere. Okay, so if they win, they get typewriter word processors for their school. But if they can find the bonus prize, they get a Game Boy, which is obviously what these kids actually care about. So I hope at least one of them gets it. Yeah, with interchangeable game cartridges, Game Boy is the new generation from Nintendo. And it has a Tetris cartridge. No way. <laughs> Your time starts now. Best of luck, Rebecca. <laughs> Go, go, go. I want one of these kids to win a Game Boy. Oh my god, she looks scared that she's gonna slip. Oh, Jesus, every single time. It's not less scary every time I see them. Oh, Benny, no, going into the other side, down to the 30 second mark. This is so stressful. Here she comes, two keys. Rebecca, make it out, come out, come out. Run. Quick, 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 come out, come out. No. Unfortunately, I don't think she's gonna make it. Oh, no. And time's up there, Ben. Oh, no. How many did you find, Rebecca? You got your two. Okay. Unfortunately, not a bonus prize key in that, but not to worry. Oh, I wanted them to get the Game Boy. <laughs> Tomorrow, still could be top or join us, see what happens. All right, so that was amazing. I believe this was requested a long time ago. I don't remember by whom, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. It, I stumbled back through it as I was going back through saved episodes of things that I had saved aside for like future video stuff and it just looked kind of fun and random and I just felt like talking about it more than I felt like talking about anything else so here we are I think the universe really wants me to cover home in a way so we'll have to do that at some point but thank you if you've been watching the past couple weeks you know that we have very much enjoyed at least I very much enjoyed uh, being on our little Australia stop on our trip around the world as we cover other things outside of America while the strike continues and American corporations refuse to pay people what they deserve. So <laughs> um, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to start my UK stop or my, my English stop, I should say, my England stop specifically. In the next video, I'm going to start covering UK stuff. We'll have our UK stop. So by the way, do you guys like having this like foreign media tour? Like how you liking it? Feels like we're on a journey together. <laughs> but I'll leave you guys here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber who say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye, guys. Oh, I really wanted one of them to get a Game Boy. I'm so heartbroken for them. If you were on this show as a kid, please contact me. I would love to hear from you. I want to know if you want a Game Boy. <laughs>